What's up, friends? I'm Heidi. Welcome to my channel. And if you're back, I'm so excited that you've returned. Today, we're doing another motor workout, and the emphasis is going to be upper body and abdominals, obliques, all the things. <laughs> What's really awesome is a couple weeks ago, I just did a lower body workout using your motor as well. So you can always combine these two sessions together to get a total body session. Um, I will link that right here and I'll be sure to link it at the end of this session too. So you can just hop over there and do that one as well. Are you ready? Let's do this. Take a moment. Can we just observe how adorable my cat is? I'm just saying. <laughs> if you're not a cat lover, I'm sorry. And then also my intro video was a little dark because I forgot to turn my light on. Ask me if I care. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get started. You are going to face your motor arm. Now, if you have a tender tushy, I would highly recommend maybe putting a mini mat down or some kind of cushion underneath your tailbone because we're going to be rolling a lot on the sits bones. And sometimes the motor is not the friendliest surface to be rolling on. Yeah. All right. Let's get started. We're gonna start with a little bit of a stretch here. Go ahead and take your arms out to the side. You're gonna cross one arm over. Just give that shoulder a nice stretch, drop the shoulder away. Maybe roll out the wrist a couple of times. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna open and then cross it over, drop the shoulder, roll the wrist a couple of times back and forth. Yes. Take a moment, sitting tall, just roll the shoulders back and down. I just want to get you right into the meat of the work, but I just want to make sure we kind of mobilize, stretch the shoulders a bit because there's going to be a lot of it. <laughs> yeah. Take a moment one more time here. Now, from here, you have options. You can use a resistance of three pounds, which is both buttons out on each avocado, or you can push a button in on each side to do six pounds. I think for now, I'm gonna start with six pounds because we're gonna do a little bicep work and our biceps tend to be the strongest muscle, yes? And you're gonna sit as tall as you can, right up on top of those sit bones, grabbing the straps in hand. Let's send the arms straight out in front of us, noticing how your shoulders start to feel some feedback here. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to take our exhale. We're going to roll that pelvis under pubic bone to the sternum here, finding that C shape. And then we're going to restack that spine sitting tall. I was not joking when I said we're going to roll on those sits bones. Again, exhale, finding that C shape, connecting to that low belly, and then restack stacking that spine. Here we go. Two more. Exhale. We take it back and then coming back forward. One more here. We're going to curl and we're going to hold this position. Rotate your palms up. Keep the arms where they are in the space. Bicep curl. Bend and extend. Exhale. We're going to do 10 here. So I'm going to count it out. Last seven to hold myself accountable. Six. Exhale for five. Think of scooping that belly a little deeper each time. Last three. We have two. Last one. Extend the arms. You're going to restack the spine. Sit nice and tall and relax. Okay, now. I have pretty strong upper body, but I'm going to digress and go back to three pounds, okay? I'm gonna sit tall here, find my posture, find that starting position, yes? So from here, we're gonna roll it back again. Exhale, we curl, hold right here. Now, from this position, you're gonna take the palms into a nice little bicep curl. From there, you're gonna extend the spine on a diagonal, sending the arms to the sky, tipping the pubic bone forward, lifting the heart, and then curl it back. 
So getting some spinal movement in here, yes? So we inhale, lengthen, find that extension through the head, through the tailbone. Exhale, curl it back in. Three more, just like that. Inhale, reach. Exhale, we curl it back. Last two. So you're sending the arms overhead, tipping the tailbone forward. Try not to come all the way up on the sit bones. You're still slightly behind them. Yes? One more. We send it up. Inhale. Exhale. Send the arms forward. Restack that spine and give it a moment. Give it one big shoulder roll back. All right, here we go. Take the arms out in front. We're going to stay tall here for a moment. I'm going to hold the straps like I'm holding two candlesticks. From here, I'm going to open my arms up, my mom, my arms up and bring it back close. So from here, I'm drawing the arms back from the back of my shoulders. Yes. I'm pulling them back, bringing them forward. I'm only on a resistance of three pounds, friends. Yes. So you do you. If you can keep your posture and go a little further, by all means, add some resistance. Let's do one more just like that. Bring it back forward. Now hold. Rotate your palms down. Your shoulders should be on. They are turned on. They're active. You're going to take the arms up overhead. Bring it back. Now here's the kicker. As the arm rises up, keep the ribs anchoring down. Yes, this isn't about going into an extension. Yes, I know we were doing that previously. Just raise the arm up. Front raise here. Woo! Last four. Bring it down. And we're going to put all these pieces together in a moment. Last two. Lift. Ooh, it's on fire. One more. Up. Bring it down. And relax. Shoulder roll. Whew. Maybe go forward a couple of times. All right. Here's where it's going to get interesting. Take your arms back in front. Yeah, we're going to roll it back now. Curl. Now, from here, you're going to take one arm open and one arm up. Open and up. Bring it back. And can you alternate that? Open and up. Woo! Yes, it's a burning. Open and up. We got this. Getting into the back of those shoulders, front of the shoulders, all the things. One more time. Last one, keeping that C curve. What if we keep going and rotate? Look at that arm. Woo, I almost lost it. And rotate. So you're pulling the opposite hip back. And rotate. Look at it. Woo. And rotate. Here we go. Get a little spiral in that center axis. Obliques. And rotate. One more set here. We can do this. Woo, my shoulders feel like they are on fire. Good. Come forward. Restack. Take the arms, press them back, lift the heart, open up the chest, draw your shoulder blades together. Now all your shoulders up and your ears, drop them. Lift the heart a little more and relax. All right, take a moment. We're going to do a little 180. Now, when you do that 180, I want you to sit on your bottom and bend these knees. Yes. So if this is not comfortable for you, by all means, you can sit like so. We're going to do a little bit of a thigh stretch shortly. You can just keep that out of the equation and just do the upper body work, the arms, okay? Maybe you want to stay in a high kneeling position, then you can stay here. The big thing is when we're in this kneeling position, you want to squeeze that motor, pull up through that pelvic floor. Otherwise, your motor is going to start to move around. So we got to really squeeze it tight, yes? So I'm going to stay on a resistance of three pounds. I'm going to go ahead and take the straps into my hands. Now, from here, I'm going to bend my elbows here. We're going to start small, and we're going to build, as always. So we're here. You're going to start by just sending the arms straight out in front of you. Presentation. Bring it back down. Again, reach. And we bring it down. Two more like that. We reach. Bring it down. 
One more there. We reach. We're staying nice and tall. Bring it down. Now let's add like a little forward fold. Keeping the pelvis quiet, you are going to reach the arms forward, round the upper back, and then bring it back up. Two more like that. So you reach forward, you round the upper back, like a seated chest lift, and bring it back up. Last one. Reach it forward, round. Bring it up. Now, Let's add on. Uh oh. It's always scary when I say we're going to add on. From here, we're going to add a little seat raise. We're going to add a C curve. Use the pelvis. You're going to squeeze, lifting from under your seat. You're going to curl, reaching the arms forward, and then lengthen, letting the tailbone find your motor. Uh, again, exhale, curl, reach. Inhale, lengthen through the tail, through the head. Three more. Exhale. Inhale. Last two. Exhale. Curl. So we're not coming all the way up on our knees, friends. We're just maintaining that curvature. Bottom just hovers over the motor. Last one. Exhale. Inhale. Take it back. We're going to add on. You can watch me once or just crash and burn and try to follow me through it. We're gonna add on to this position. We rise up, reaching the arm forward, scoop. Now from here, we rise all the way up onto our knees, squeeze the motor. We're gonna lift the heart up. Little extension, let the shafts kind of pull you back. You're gonna circle the arms around as they approach your thighs. You're gonna sit back down. Woo, do that again. So we're here, we exhale, curl, rising up. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, come around and sit back down. Last two, we curl. Inhale up. Exhale around and bring it back down. Final one here. We curl, we reach. Lengthen up. Arms come around. And we're going to stay right here. Squeeze that motor. Send your arms straight out in front of you. Soften the elbows right here. We're going to open and close. A little chest fly here. Or maybe you know it as hug a tree. Pick your poison. It's the same thing, right? Using your pecs. Let's do four more. We have three. Last two. On your final one, hold it here, stretch through your elbows. Keep reaching through that right arm. You're gonna spiral the torso. Look back at that left hand. And then exhale, use the chest, use the shoulder, bring it back to center. And then switch, inhale, we spiral, obliques. Exhale, back to center. Now, as you rotate to the left, are you pushing that left hip forward, both hip bones facing forward, come back to center. So it comes from your obliques. It's not coming from your hips. We don't want that, right? So we have to really stabilize. Keep tucking. Squeeze that tushy. Yes. We reach. We bring it back forward. One more time. Rotate. We bring it back. Bring it back down. Have a seat. Sweep the hands around. Bring them behind the head. Create a nice little diamond here. Float the elbows forward, lock the ribs back. I'm telling you to do it, but I'm cueing myself to hold. As always, we exhale, reach, inhale, bring it down. So we call this shaving or tricep extension. Whatever tickles your fancy, you can choose the name, yes. Getting into that tricep work, here we go. We have five and four. We have three. Last two, final one, hold it, send the arms out, open it up, and relax. Take a moment, just roll the shoulders back, and then roll them forward. Good, take a moment right here. You can have a seat, I'm going to face you, maybe still a little crisscross applesauce. <laughs> Take the arms over. We're going to stretch it out. Stretch that shoulder. 
Very nice. So that was it. That was your core and upper body work. We got a little creative there, right? Keeping it a little more Pilates based, if you will. And as I promised, we're going to take that left arm up, stretch that tricep and shoulder. As I promised, I am going to include the link to my lower body motor workout up there, right there, waiting for you. Yes. Thank you so much for joining me. And please give me your feedback. If you have requests, comment below. If you have questions, if you like something, or even if you didn't like something, I don't know unless you tell me. Okay, friend, thank you so much for coming today again. I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you liked this video. Give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget, subscribe and you'll be notified when the next video drops. And in the meantime, come join me on Instagram. I hope to see you soon. <laughs>